On the outskirts of the village of Losich, Chertkiv district, Ternopil region, the magnificent St. Anthony of Padua church rises. If to look at its photo, you can think that this object is somewhere on alpine expanses. But this perfect work of architecture was created by architects in a small village, which has been known since the late 16th century. Local Roman Catholics had no their own spiritual shrine for a long time. And probably at first in 1889, a small filial church was built in the village of Losich. Building of the capital's sacred structure continued from 1896 to 1906. The church was built with funds provided by Countess Maria Galukovska, who was the owner of the town of Skala and the widow of the Caesar governor in Galicia. The church architecture matches the neo-Gothic style. The structure includes a belfry tower with a spire, a nose, church hall, under the step roof, the presbyterium, the altar part and the sacristy. The church is built of local stone and it isn't plastered. Its base is made of hewn blocks, the walls are made of relief rectangular stone, and windows and doors are framed by stone hill elements. Architectural details that you can see from outside have stone caps. Rough texture of the walls and side three-stage buttresses give medieval features to the church, which resembles a defensive church. The main entrance of the church has a modest Gothic portal, decorated with rustic stone. Above it there is a hewn round stone window, in the form of a Celtic cross. Side southern entrance is an open parent that from the very beginning was integral to the church. Even this architectural element has its zest. A hewn column with the capital of the Tuscan order stands on a pedestal popped by a little buttress. The arches are made of rustic stone and fastened with art folding anchors. From the southern side, between the belfry and the central part of the church, there is a two-tired tower, which has a spiral staircase to get up to the choir loft. A small sacristy has two wings covered with proportionally sharp roofs. The entrance to the sacristy is propped by wooden columns. Iron doors fastened by rivets and figure spatals remained since the time of the church building. At first the church was covered with ceramic tiles, but in 2008 they were replaced with metal ones. In the entrance of the church there is a preserved marble plaque with a text in Latin, which says that on August 31, 1932, 
Archbishop of Lviv Boleslav Twardowski solemnly consecrated the church altar. Today there are two another modern plaques. In 1953 the church was closed and turned into a spare parts warehouse for tractors and lorries. In Soviet times local hooligans broke church windows and stole some church property. Then there was a fire which destroyed most of the church. The shrine was returned to believers in 1990, in 1989 according to other sources. In 1996 the church was renovated. In 2002, thanks to the funds of Lviv Cardinal Marian Yavorsky, the church interior was painted with polychrome. The Cardinal consecrated this job. In 2008, the roof and the tower of the church were renovated.